All right, so we're going to start with the award ceremony. As I call out the candidate, I will call out their assessor, the person who made the decision for their business to be funded. And as they come up, I will just mention slightly who the person is and a little bit background. So the first person I'm going to call is Ali Kelo with his assessor, Paul Janish. Ali Kelo is, he runs a, a retail store in the middle of the Johannesburg CBD where he sells computers and computer accessories. Ali was funded with 38,000 in startup capital and the current value of his business is 120,000 rand. And in the last 10 months, he's made sales of 360,000 rand. Just repeat the last part, sir. I said in the last 10 months, he's made sales of over 360,000 rand. No. <laughs> I travelled a long way. Right, the next person I'm calling on is Fakhri McKay. His assessor is Alia Kasim. Fakhri runs a hardware store in Bosman called Bosman Hardware. He was given startup capital of 35,000 Rand. His current stock value with equipment and fixings is over 120,000 Rand. In the last 10 months of his uh, business, he showed 150,000 Rand's worth of sales. Mafio Assessor is Yusuf Rasul. Just to con, you know, I'm not a female, <laughs> the male. Carry on, carry on. Has to make sure he gets the right assessor because he'll need trouble on Monday. Right. Thank you. The next candidate is Ihsan Khan, who runs a butcher and a buy and buy in um, Soweto. Ihsan was given startup capital of 28,000 rand. His current value of his business, which is 185,000 Rand. And within the process of one year, Ihsan was able to purchase his own vehicle. He has shown a sales figure of over 800,000 Rand in the last 12 months. <laughs> Alia. Your assessor is Alia. The next candidate is Latifa Vapi, and the assessor giving her award is Abdul Aziz Abrams. Latifa was given startup capital of 48,000 Rand. The current value of her business is 118,000 Rand, and for the last year she sold sales figures of over 270,000 Rand. She sells automotive paints. The next candidate we're calling up is Najma Maya. Najma runs a laundromat in Fordsburg, in uh, Dolly Ratebe Road, called the Wishy Washi Laundry. She had given, was given startup capital of 34,000 Rand. Her current value is 47,000 Rand, and she has sold, shown sales figures of over 180,000 Rand. Her assessor is Yasin Javeri. The next candidate is Happy Piri. Happy Piri does candle manufacturing in the Soweto area. He was given startup capital of 49,000 Rand. The current value of his business is over 150,000 Rand, which includes the purchase of a vehicle. His assessors are Riyad and Faika, who are not here. 
and his sales figures for the last 10 uh, year has been over 300,000 rand. I'm going to call Abdul Karim Ghani to give his award. The next candidate is Rukshana Sheikh. Rukshana runs a takeaways and a catering business in the Edenvale area. She was given startup capital of 28,000 Rand. The current value of her business is 85,000 Rand. She has shown sales of over 380,000 Rand in the last year, and her assessor is Hussein Khan. The next candidate is Ashrafa Velakazi. Ashrafa runs a photo and film studio in the heart of the Johannesburg CBD. She was given startup capital of 53,000 rand and has steadily grown it to over 64,000 rand. Her assessor is Zafir Nagdi, who is a lecturer at the University of Johannesburg. Right, before I call out the next assessor and the next candidate, I'm going to ask you just to give me a minute extra before you cap. The next candidate is Farida in Kosi. And if Farida came to the office and she put a one-page request to buy her equipment because she is going to cater for the World Cup. And if Farida's English, and before she sees me, is not that good. So and if Farida could not explain herself properly. So it, one of the office staff went with her to the city of Johannesburg and they verified that she has been given the go-ahead to cater at the World Cup. And on the Friday morning of the opening of the World Cup, Andy Farida came to the office crying and telling us that we will buy the equipment for her today and that she will definitely make a success for it. And she put demands on us that we had to release payments 3 o'clock that afternoon to make sure that she's at the World Cup. And if Farida gets an invitation to every event at Orlando Stadium, and she's given free reign to cater there. She actually employs five extra people, ladies, who go with her whenever she's doing functions on the weekend. And when I call Andy Farida in this week, on Tuesday morning, I told her she's going to get an award on Friday night. The first thing she asked me is, how late are you going to finish? I said, why are you concerned about how late are we going to finish? It's your night. She says, because Saturday morning I have to go to Pretoria, I'm doing it, an event at the inauguration of the president. <laughs> and while they come on, we would also like to take a little bit more time to thank Pavel Hassam. Of, of all the volunteers who offer their services to, uh, to the program, nobody compares into the amount of effort that Pavel Hassam does. Not only does he help us assess business plans, he assists in mentoring our candidates, and he also assists in handling any legal matter that any of our training candidates face, whether it's got to do with custody, legal matters, commercial matters. Pavel is more than uh, availing himself, even at late hours of the night, 10, 11 o'clock at night, makes meetings at the office to come meet our clients, and we would like to thank him for his service. Thank you.